and it has pockets too. I completely forgot about that, but it has pockets, so it's nice sometimes. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to talk about my Hill House Sabrina dress and I'm going to do an uh, in-depth review of wearing it and owning it for a year now. So on this channel, I always try to review things that I've had for over a year so that people know what it's worth. You often see holes and, you know, the dress is beautiful, but does it resist in the long run? <laughs> Let's find out. If you like this video, don't forget to like or share or even subscribe to my channel. It really helps me. So thank you very much. So this dress is the Sabrina dress. It has a really romantic and elegant style to it. It's really inside. So if you've seen my video about winter trends, I talked about the fact that we are seeing more and more longer dresses. It is still trending in the spring and summer 2024. The dress itself is really complicated because it has a lot of details and, you know, ruffles, button closure on the front, which is something that is highly criticized because it has no smoking in the back like there are other dresses. So it's really difficult because once you have to choose the size, especially if you live outside of the US, so like me, I was in Canada or as I am now in Europe, you don't want to pick custom just to have something that doesn't fit or have to pay the shipping back to have it exchanged. For the sizing, I refer to their size that they have on their website and I think I chose the smallest, the small size and it fits perfectly. So the dress itself is really beautiful, but is it worth 175 US dollars? Well, let's find out. First of all, when I received it, I was really disappointed with the package. You get no experience. Yes, you do have that branding uh, on the outside, which is a plastic bag, but then inside, once you open the package, you only get like the receipt and also the dress uh, that is in, again, in a plastic bag. At the time, I was working for an e-commerce website and let me tell you, we made sure that customers were happy once they received the package and they would get the full on experience. They would have like some paper, like tissue around the clothing. And also they would get a small card saying, thank you. And I would handwritten notes saying, thank you for shopping. Thank you for choosing us. Don't forget to leave us a review. I mean, it was highly personalized, whereas here it looked like, okay, this is that harder number and the dress is here, let's package it up. No notes whatsoever. So it's a little bit disappointing, especially uh, a month later, I started wearing it because I bought it like late February. And if you've ever been to Canada, late February is like winter and we, get, we got so much snow that year. Um, so I only wore it like a month after. After a couple of wears, the button started to come undone and they were literally hang hanging by thread. So I emailed the customer service saying, hi, what's going on in here? Because I paid $170, like what's that for quality, right? And they responded like, yeah, we are going to take that in charge. Either you send it for an exchange or you could go to your um, seamstress and get it fixed, which is the option that I chose. It was easier for me since I was also moving out and moving back here abroad. So I went to my local seamstress and she fixed it. The money back, they gave me the money back, but they also said like, okay, so this is your maximum. It didn't end up being that much, but they still give you uh, some direction. They were quick to respond and they made sure that I was happy in the end. This problem, despite being a problem, gave me a way better opinion about the brand. 
So once I was happy with the brand, I even went to their New York store to try on more dresses, especially their nap dress. Um, in my mind, this dress wasn't worth the price. Once I tried it on, I was like, well, it seems so easy to make, you know? And I was like, it's so easy to make, I'm, I'm gonna try it. And you know, there are so many tutorials online on how to do it. I tried to do it myself. Let me tell you, putting an elastic red in the bobbin in your sewing machine does not work. You might think that the design is really easy to make and that you can make it at home. If you can, good for you. But let me tell you, it's a little harder than it looks. So now that I've tried to replicate it, I do think it's worth the price. So to conclude, it's really hard to say that the dress is worth the money. I would say that, that if you are okay to pay for the brand name, you can get a great customer service experience, but I would highly advise Hazel in the house home to improve their packaging experience. Yeah, that concludes my video. Um, you know, not everything is black and white in this world and it was really difficult to make the conclusion because yeah, I do like the dress, but the, the packaging experience was not there, but the customer service was great. So it's a mix of all of that. You can now make your decision based on what I just said. Let me know in the comments if you're planning to buy any of their dresses and I see you next time. Bye!